So good afternoon, guys. We are starting today with part one series of diving into indicators seminar. Thank you for joining us. In this webinar, we'll cover basically the overview of trend following, the principles and things like that. So while our fellow traders are joining, uh, let's quickly look at what this series will cover. This, this is a six part series uh, being produced by Streak with support of Zerodha. We are going to cover in the first part, trend following, second part, momentum indicators, third part, oscillators, fourth part, price action, which is again a sub part one and support and resistance. Uh, then part five will have price action two and part six will have advanced indicator systems. Okay. So just a moment, guys. We are going to go ahead with the session in a moment. Great. So again, for those who missed out, this is a six part series diving into indicators. OK, this series uh, first part is trend following. Second part is momentum indicators. Third part is oscillators. Fourth part price action, sub part one and resistance and support. Part five is basically uh, price action two, which is again a sub part of price action strategies. Part six is going to be advanced uh, indicator systems. Now, what this diving into indicator series is going to uh give or going to sort of uh, provide information on is how to look at indicators how each kind of indicator has their own or each kind of indicators fundamental theory has their own ways to form trading systems right and uh, we are going to cover indicators on a high level and then the whole theory and the principles on a bit deeper and broader level right in this seminar uh, in this webinar, sorry, you guys can ask questions uh, and our team will write answers to you. And we'll also take a few pauses in between to answer the questions that you have, right? So this specific part one seminar will cover what is trend following, the principles behind trend following, okay? Trend indicators. Now, trend following in, uh, indicators are of two parts. One is following and one is strength, which basically show that strength of a trend, right? And then we'll do optimizations with other indicators to sort of improve how it works, right? Uh, and to sort of bring in something else to support the trend. And then we'll do deployment and trading if a notification comes while we are on we are on air. And uh, then we'll have Q&A and feedback where you can give us feedback for uh, what we could have added in this seminar uh, webinar and we'll do in the coming webinars, right? So let's get started. Trend following, right? So as the name says, it basically is just following a single trend. Uh, if a trend starts to go up, if a bullish trend starts to form, you try to buy it, you try to catch that, you exit when the trend starts to reverse, uh, so on and so forth, right? Now, the very important thing that you should keep in mind is, again, this when following trend, it, it basically means that something is going to continue in future right that's what the trend uh, means so uh, if you see the picture which is shown here right it says that if a resistance line is broken okay uh, then you can say that a trend has started now this is just a sample example of the same now uh, once the trend is starting to go up there are two possibilities a trend can reverse or a small pullback might happen which will to cover uh, in the next slide or the trend might continue and then the exit might come or your take profit might come and you exit right so this is a very ideal scenario no stock works like this no graph looks like this for actual reality but this is just to give you an explanation of what trend following is trend following is basically buying when the price starts to go up selling when the price starts to go down the best way to sell up when the price starts to go down is before the price take this u-turn try to sort of exit here or exit here right now what are the trend following principles right there are many good books uh, which talk about trend following in depth right but the general idea behind trend following especially for intraday and short term is to get in early 
but not too early to avoid any false breakouts, any false trends, right? And uh, look for support from others, right? What this? What is this point? This this slide is the key foundation for this entire webinar, right? So this is very important to understand how to write uh, good trend following trading systems. Is one to get early and try to avoid too early entries so that you don't uh, enter false breakouts and uh, uh, look for support from others, which basically means look for support from other indicators or some other source of information, right? Which can be uh, a support and resistance uh, telling you whether uh, trends which have started has already broken a certain kind of resistance, right? Point three is basically understand pullbacks and optimized to avoid them. So this chart, which I have shown here, right? This is a very macroscopic uh, view of how a trend looks or how basically a trend life cycle is. Uh, but this also applies for a very small term microscopic scale as well, right? So uh, the third point is avoid pullbacks, which I just mentioned. And fourth is exit quick, right? Don't be greedy. Don't uh, uh, sit around and think that okay when the trend starts to reverse that's only the point where i will try to exit right let me go a bit deeper in that and try to explain that here okay uh so one moment yeah so you can see that here is when the trend starts and people who are doing a lot of data analysis and things like that can figure out that a trend is starting right now they start taking microscopic positions here small distributed positions here right and then the awareness phase comes in and for a short term intraday point this awareness phase might look like okay your moving averages has start to uh, come closer and might be might have a crossover sometime soon your super trend is coming really close to the cross price so that a crossover uh, might happen right so that's where this awareness phase begins in still no signal has been generated uh, based on technical indicators because all technical indicators are lagging uh, especially the trend following ones when i say all i don't mean 100 percent of them but especially in trend following uh, indicators they are lagging right so now this is the awareness phase where a trend might start to form where a trend might start to show up right uh, that that's where uh, we are that's where we sort of sort of uh, see um, that most of people start sort of defining whether you have to enter or not right now this is the mania phase this is basically uh, so this is because it's a macroscopic image where like on big things how things work is because something starts to go up media starts to cover on an intraday basis it'll be like your news channels which basically sort of say hey this stock has gone two percent up three percent up and that's when you see that the mania has started right so you actually ideally would want to uh enter somewhere here in the awareness phase before uh that price movement or this trend starts getting reflected and we have to avoid this exit here because that's what i said in point three the principle the key principle is to avoid a false pullback right actually a false trend reversal right um uh, there are many strategies which use mean reversion which basically try to figure out whether this pullback is going to be an actual reversal or not right so now this is when people start talking about it and after that the uh, trend starts to plateau and then if you start to exit here where the uh, bull trap is there right or when the denial comes then again it's a bit too late for you to exit so the best part is right strategies which are pretty early and are uh, avoiding any kind of any kind of false signals and exit in between the mania phase right now uh, and the last part again doesn't matter it's basically the stock once the trend has gone, once a sharp peak has come and then the price has stabilized, then the price starts to oscillate and try to avoid those things because they cause a lot of because they cause a lot of losses in terms of your fees and charges because the price doesn't move significantly up or down for you to get the price movement big enough to make the decent amount of money that you're looking for right so now let's quickly look at the trend following indicators the these are co very common known basic indicators there are many more but here the point is to understand how to use any of the trend following indicators and sort of build a sort of decent stable 
trend following algo right again this is just for educational purposes you should do a little bit more of tuning fine tuning for different type of stock sectors of stock before you actually take things live but let's um, get into indicators right so moving average our old pal okay it's very old and very more like it's the most common way of identifying a trend because it smoothens out the price movement right it is this moving averages are of type trend following they work in all markets, cash and futures, but not options. And uh, they work best in trending markets. So what this means works best in trending markets is if you use a bullish moving average algo on a bearish market, uh, bearish moving market stock, it is not be going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty nasty, actually. Right. So th that's something that you have to keep in mind when you are looking at uh, using moving averages to sort of identify short term opportunities in a long short term bullish opportunities in a long term bearish market. Right. That that's statement. I'll repeat again. You have to be really careful when using moving averages to identify short term bullish opportunities in a long term bullish market right when i say long term i mean over a period of few months short term means intraday right just to clear moving uh, to be clear moving average okay uh work ha, works best only again uh, it has been written here works best only when the long term trend is in same direction of the short term opportunity this basically means the price on a long term is going up whenever a small pullback like this happens right here the bear trap happens you are again trying to enter here and then trying to follow through right because the long term trend at least still here right is bullish and because it is bullish uh, uh, if short pullback happens a little bit uh, for a short period of time pullback happens you then enter again and then go from there right so then uh, okay so and okay so because moving average is a very common and old indicator right it it is so much known that the values that derive are derived from moving indicator are sort of fainting out right so that that's something you have to keep in mind so let's create a simple moving average uh, you know, crossover strategy for demonstration purposes right and uh, I mean, and then we'll go from uh, there to optimize and look at other indicators, right? So let me just uh, log in. Right, so I'll just go and create something here. So let's look at SBN, let's look at Wipro, any other stocks you guys want to tell, you can type in chat box. Um, let's just put some random quantity okay so now we we know that the stock let, let's look at the first theory right where the moving average indicator works best when the long term trend and the short term opportunity you are trying to identify are in same or similar directions right so we know that markets have been going uh, okay so uh, i'll remove other indicators which are sort of causing a bit of noise volume we'll keep for later okay so the first strategy that we are looking at is basically a simple moving average crossover people call it golden crossover for different setups when you're using exponential or simple moving averages so this golden uh, so when the moving average crosses 7 crosses 14 we are going to write a strategy to sort of buy here so keep in mind when back testing it tells you the open price uh this open price is what you will get because this is the candle for which uh, the crossover has been established and then exit is this one so it's quite straightforward very simple strategy right um i'm going to give one uh person stop loss two percent take profit uh right and i'll just give as a name and let's get started uh, with the back test so I'm I'm positive that I will not get some really fancy results from this uh, before the backtest finishes. But the whole point of this is to understand how to write strategies that makes more sense, right? So SBIN, let's look at it first. So SBIN in the month, three months backtest, which was run, right? For this uh, for this period from here to here, uh, which you see here, right? The stock fell three percent but with our short-term strategy we are able to make 4.49 percent but obviously with, because there are so many trades with brokerage it all goes to hell i mean as i said earlier right i'm not too optimistic on this so now other thing is basically 
the other principle which he spoke about was exiting early right trying to identify the trend and exit early right so what i mean by that is this whenever the crossover is happening right so because we are doing a sell we should look something here right whenever this crossover is happening we see that it should go down but it actually didn't go down it went up uh, let's look at these points randomly so it is going down then it comes up so we'll enter here we'll exit here and so on and so forth so at these points of time right i'm not going to change anything but i'm going to make my stop loss and take profit a bit more realistic to the trend that i'm trying to catch because this is very important because i'm trying to catch intraday 15 minute candle chart trend and sbn on an average day moves about uh one to two percent right today it has only moved 0.78 percent but so my trend which i'm trying to catch intraday should be within that sort of uh, range in addition to that right i have kept an exit condition which you can see here i have kept an exit condition which is this one this is to avoid if the this is to avoid uh long holds when the market starts to flatten out let's say there is no trend and market starts to flatten out we should always have an exit condition to sort of exit uh, when things are not going in our direction now for those guys who saw earlier sbn was not good same way wipro was not good right it was negative returns but after changing just the stop loss and take profit the returns from minus 0.5 percent earlier has become 12 percent and the number of trades exactly remain the same or are in the same region what changed here right let's look at wipro chart what let's look at wipro chart try to understand what happened right so let me just type wipro right so again wipro moves a lot at least it has been moving a lot in the last uh, few uh, months right where we are seeing that whenever this cross below happens we are entering and we are exiting at this point of time or when our small take profit or stop loss hits so the key point when using moving average because it's a very simple indicator right we have not done much we are trying and our win to loss ratio is zero uh, is 0 0.4 to point eight which is again uh one is to two win to loss rate uh, loss to win ratio and our max drawdown on is also less so that means this strategy is somewhat stable it is not too volatile at any point of time i'm not going to lose too much of my capital right uh, and now and our max gain and max loss in addition to that my average win and average uh trading loss are again in the same ratio as as required right so when we look at number of wins and number of losses right it is approximately 50 50 but um, approximately 50 50 but it's not giving that great of a uh, sort of a result but because my win to loss ratio is two is to one i am still being able to be profitable right the period returns for this stock has been 0.94 percent last three months and we beat the returns by 11 percent uh, so the alpha here is learn person right so again this is a very simple strategy you have to be careful when using this right you can add other indicators which we are going to discuss to make it worthwhile now uh okay so this is what we discussed till now we had a simple crossover strategy with a bigger stop loss bigger target profit but that underperformed when we uh, that underperformed drastically just by changing the stop loss and take profit so when we change the stop loss to 0.4 percent and take profit to 0.8 percent the second strategy which you see here right performed outperformed the first one by at least two times right i mean that you can observe the whole uh concept the whole technical concept here is to understand that if you are using simple moving average uh crossover strategies you cannot expect a stop loss or a take profit to be massive even a stop loss should not be massive because that just incurs unnecessary loss right because the trend you are trying to identify are short term pullback and reversal so what i mean by short term pullback and reversals is basically this right i am trying to identify that hey a pullback uh, a bull so here instead of pullback a short term bull run is coming but i will short as soon as the trend reverses right because it's a bearish strategy so the whole point which we are trying to cover here is 
understand how much stocks movements are and place your stop loss and take profit very carefully and precisely to make the best out of moving average crossovers okay even though they are simple they work out when you are using a lot of stocks lot of portfolio and are very consistent in using them right there are studies which uh, show that for a very long term period right now next indicator super trend again i'll not spend too much time on super trend because our last webinar covered this in a lot of depth okay so uh, we will just uh, quickly i'll just show quickly show you the slides you can read for yourself uh, this is adx right again so super trend is a trend follower keep that in mind uh, works only best in trending markets if you use it in sideways or flat or oscillating markets it will not do that great what i mean by oscillating markets is a market which uh, uh, where the price moves slightly up then comes back again down and then moves back up right whereas the trending market is slightly different where the stock starts to move up it continues to go for a longer period for a longer duration the trend continues to go up right now adx is a trend finder it tells you how strong the trend is this indicator and the algo with this was covered in my previous webinar you can see it uh, in the links below or somewhere uh, here we are looking at uh, super trend and uh, super trend with adx and the results were very evident in the last uh, webinar that the optimized algo gave much better results than the previous one so here keep in mind we are uh, the seminar uh, or the webinar covered by algo right by as means bullish in and the stocks that were demonstrated they were bearish in nature so super trend with adx works really great in identifying this kind of pullbacks so it was it was able to identify this kind of short term pullback so you will enter here and you'll exit here right and same way when the market even though it is going down on a long term horizon, horizon right uh, the that combination was able to perform better than moving averages in defying the trend itself when i say trend defying the long term uh, trend itself now next is parabolic sar okay this is uh, one of the most common indicators this is uh, this is used to uh, this is used to basically uh, <clears throat> many people use it to uh, use it as their stop loss and take profits it can be used like that but the parabolic sar is meant for stop and reverse what that means is that trend is now stopped and it is reversing in the other direction right again keep that in mind it is very similar to super trend it follows trend following it is not that great in terms of checking out uh, how the strength is and whether you should continue or not points to note having a maximum acceleration factor ensures that sar is not too tight that normal market wiggles basically volatility can cause false signal right so you should make sure to play around with the uh, acceleration factor which is a parameter for uh, parabolic sar and then work with that so and then the stronger the trend the better the parabolic sar will work so this is very key point the stronger the trend the better the super trend also will work right so uh, now how do you know which how strong the trend is that's where the other indicators which basically tell the quality of the strength come in uh, we are not going to cover um, uh, adx in this webinar because it was covered earlier but keep that in mind when using parabolic sar right so now again this is a simple parabolic sar by itself strategy let's try to do that here uh let's create an algo or i'll just copy this one so that's better let's try to save some time so right so i'll just clear this i'll have a bullish strategy so again keep that in mind we are trying to use a bullish strategy when the market is bearish to show the point to show the point that using trend following you can try to catch the this small pullbacks which happen here even when the market is going down or when, even when the market long term trend is against the short term move that you are trying to catch obviously you, the reason why i stress on that is you can have both bullish and bearish algos now the bearish algo because it is in line with the long term trend will make significant profits i mean is supposed to make significant profits and the reverse one which is identifying the small pullbacks is again going to give an added advantage so when the stock is going down and long term it is also going down you still make some profits out of that when the stock is 
trying to do a uh, recovery like try to have a bullish pullback that's also that's uh, that's when also you can capture some value right now all this is theoretical you have to experiment with a bit uh, uh, in terms of back test to identify what actually uh, works best for the stocks that you are choosing right that is very important so now again i use the assist feature for my entry and now my exit to just create a sample um, i didn't change anything else now keep in mind this is a bullish strategy uh let's give it a name so sample so again uh, not very strong hopes because this is an uh this is a strategy that is running only using trend following on a bearish market but it has no concept of trend strength so try to think in those terms again as i said uh, in this time the stock fell three percent and the loss here also was three percent uh, stock rose 0.9 percent basically stayed flat and the returns also were like that so this is what we get it is not that great we are aware of that again one quick thing we can try to do is because we are doing intraday strategy one thing we can identify is not to take trades later in the day right so here you see you see that the PSR crossed above the close price so again it gives a bullish signal but it is too late in the day for us to capitalize because the trend has already come earlier in the day and we we could have done something about it then but it's too late so there is a very nifty feature here where you can say you want to enter trades between what time to what time right so i'm just saying i will enter if the trend has started uh, before 2 30 because i am doing mis trading and i don't want to be caught in like random square offs right so again, I modified that part. We are running the back test. We should see slight improvement, not too much, but at least less number of signals, right? So uh, now let's move ahead to Arun, right? So Arun is basically a trend finder indicator. Arun word comes from Sanskrit, which basically means dawn's early light, which is morning's first light, right? The ability of Arun by according to its uh, creator, Tushar Chand, is basically to uh, basically to identify the start of a trend and tell how strong it is, right? So according to the literature, Arun, when it crosses above 70, uh, it makes uh, sort of it it shows a very strong uptrend when it crosses down uh, which is negative it shows a strong bearish trend right and uh, let's use that and combine it with parabolic sar and see what improvements we get right so let's go here directly uh, i'll just go here and try to add a rune right so i'll just say let's try to see what we have done here so i'm saying 14 a rune is higher than 60 which basically is in line with what the creator of Arun suggested, right? So I'm just saying Arun 14 uh, is higher than Arun number, then I'll say 60. This value 60, right, will be different for different stocks. So keep that in mind, what identifies, uh, keep that in mind and back test so that it tells you what identifies as a good uh, trend strength value for a rune for that specific stock right so i will now add another exit condition exits are very key when using trend following indicators okay especially on intraday because you want to know when is the right time to exit and you don't want to wait too long for your exits to happen or when the reversal to happen because sometimes reversals can happen with very strong momentum the price comes down sharply and all the gains will be lost so keep that in mind when designing your algos or strategies right so let me just do that i'll just exit with when arun so what i'm trying to say here is when parabolic sa gives a buy or when arun crosses below right what that means is when arun is saying that um the trend has weakened this green line has weakened here so i'll just exit when this happens when it crosses below 60 somewhere here right and i'll i would have entered when the trend was going up so somewhere around here right so i would have entered at this price at least and i would have exited somewhere here so that i get this difference as the profit so that's the study that we have in mind from charts which you are trying to create in this back test <clears throat> So we see that like Wipro went down, whereas the other one SBN gave up, right? So let's look at a bit more optimizations that can be done to make Arun sort of more significant. So one thing we can look at is making this as better 
and also we'll look at uh sort of as a small small things that sort of make a huge difference when you are actually running a back test okay let's let's figure it out so we are doing a lot of less trades 14 trades in last one month but something is not going on our direction theoretically this is supposed to work based on our chart understanding based on the charts that we are seeing here and visualizing right but it is not giving that kind of result right so let's look at this so this is a very important exercise which i try to uh, follow and which i try to sort of cover in uh, webinars to tell to for everybody to do right which is understanding what went wrong so you entered here on 22nd november and then your sl hit which is here right you entered here so what is going wrong is my arun uh, index value the strength value too less or too more right so let's identify that so let's look at the loss we incurred so every time if you see our stop loss is getting hit right before we can do anything let's so we can one thing is we can directly go and increase your stop loss percentage but that's a bit reckless let's try to see the chart and understand what's going wrong right i mean it takes a bit of time it takes a bit of patience but the whole press point is it has been made so easy with streak that it's it's not a problem at all it's worth it right so let's identify here what what happened so we got this bull trend right this is where the trade happened i think and yeah there's a trade so the, the entry happened on 22nd november 9 15 right so as soon as the market opened it opened gap up so it sort of thought that the trend is there but the trend was not there so now this is very important we will avoid very early in the day signal so i'll i'll say i don't want to enter for uh, for first 15 minutes so i'll just say i want to enter after 931 right let's run the back test now and see what happens these are the small minor adoptions which are when done right sort of differentiates a very good working strategy versus exact same technical indicators but poorly performing strategies right again so now we see that at least we went into green but still there is a lot of room to cover right we were earlier in red now we are not so let's look at this again on november 13th we had this uh issue where uh this sl got hit right so let's look at that why that happened so the at this point of time wipro is really bearish and we are trying to use a bull keep that in mind we are trying to use a bullish strategy when on these days when the stock is going fully down to capture any sort of value that is possible anything like this right now i can show okay let me just show for those people who are uh, who basically question whether you should do that right so so let me create a short sell strategy for this right so let me just do here let me just say crosses below and i'll just say i'll just say Arun down, right? Arun down is higher than okay. Again, here nothing else. I'm exiting when uh, should be above because we want to sell when the 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 pizza value if you see here right it has gone up the stock so we want to sell them right so i'm just showing how the cell looks okay so pizza cell sample because if the market is in the direction that you are looking it to be in where your study is designed it works phenomenally right that's the whole point so let's see how the back test turns out to be So let's while that is running we can quickly identify what where things are going wrong right so again we are we are hitting sl2 quickly let's increase that a bit so let me make it one and two So we are waiting for the back test to run. Let's take a few questions meanwhile. So we see that only four trades 
right? When we are doing sell using the PISA strategy, right? Uh, so here, the thing is why so many less trades, even though PISA is crossing so many times in up and down direction is because of the use of Arun, right? So Arun is not letting you take too many trades. So here, your PISA gave a sell, but Arun was less than the number we specified. So you didn't take an entry here. And that saved us from having this kind of uh, flat loss, right? So let's let's optimize the arun value again to see what sort of makes better sense to identify a falling stock so arun here ha has drastically gone up it is what it is 96 so let me just modify that slightly right so i'll just say when arun is higher than 50 right and uh, because we are selling anyways let's look and we know that the trend is in our side right let's look at running the back test with that so while uh, the back test is running, if you have any questions, let us know. So a lot of losses has been seen in back test, afraid to deploy strategies using. So the uh, so Mayur asked this question, right? The whole point of back test is if you don't run back test, you would have never known that there this kind of losses would have happened. Now what we are trying to teach, what we are trying to cover here is how to optimize strategies such that losses are not there, right? So when the process is you create, right you back test if you see that it is not a good strategy then you modify it again right and then you do that uh, a few times so that you can understand why the strategy is working how it is working and once you are satisfied with the back test results that's the only place where you go and deploy right again we are seeing that we are not even though we are doing too many trades we are not making too much profit why is that our exits are hitting too fast right so if we see here Many of our exits are quite early in the way. So, but what I'm trying to say is, with pivot, uh, with sorry, with uh, parabolic SAR, in addition to uh, Arun, we can create studies like this. So, just a moment. So, let me just modify this. This is where we were discussing before we went to the uh, bearish one. So, there is a bullish algo on a bearish stock, right? This is what uh, the combined algo looks like. So just a moment so so what we were showing was we are in the process of optimization so a couple of people are asking is streak possible to be used in mobile answer is yes it is available on the uh, play store and ios app uh, then how do you use renko uh, renko is part there uh, so somebody asked straight question whether it is free or paid it's free for seven days right then based on the plan you are choosing uh it's paid so uh so a couple of other questions uh while we are here is how much reliable technical indicator is right so again Technical indicators are nothing but math. What is not reliable is the market, right? So you have to use technical indicators with the right kind of market to make it work. It, the the strat is the pre person who creates the strategy. It's his responsibility to use the right technical indicators at right point of time, to, uh, such that you get the you can identify and understand the unreliable market movements better than others, right? So that you can have the price things caught and things like that now, other question which uh, somebody had asked was well, uh, can we, what about stbt which is sell today buy tomorrow that can be done we will be covering covering that in a specific webinar going forward but yes so uh so uh the other question is how to identify sideways market again uh, this is a topic for another webinar but if i have to give you a high a broad view you can look at the charts and understand how much the stock has been moving in addition to look at uh, in addition to that you can look at day candles and uh, look at the atr indicator with that to understand whether the stock is sideways or up uh, if this and in addition to that right again too many in additions uh, there are many ways you can figure out whether the stock is in trend so if you do a day candle you can identify okay because you are doing intraday a day candle chart for a month sort of tells you whether the trend has been there or not it doesn't tell you whether it is going to be there tomorrow or not but it has been there or not so if it has been for last 30 days you can try to use a trend indicator trend following strategy 
for a couple of days more and then look do the same uh, check again right is it possible to build an algo where i specify the stock and algo automatically buys and sells so i mean algo currently can identify the signals for you and uh, tell you uh, but it will not automatically buy because of regulations right uh, you can go look that up uh, there is a regulatory issue uh, with automating strategies for retail traders uh, are you planning to introduce hedging strategies absolutely there will be a way a place where you can do arbitrage in addition to that uh, figure out how you can hedge a uh, Spot and its associated derivatives, right? Uh, I am working on a other question was I am working on a strategy as follows, which is so this is basically moving average with plus DI strategy. Somebody has asked with MACD uh, is and you have asked me whether it is a good strategy or not, right? By hundred when moving average. So again, I would say right to support with your back to sell for us to sort of uh, give you a better insight on that because I can't see your back to sell now. Is it possible to add higher time frame moving averages value as qualifier uh, as qualifiers? Um, the answer to that is no currently, but you can use a longer period in moving average to get the same sense of what the long term trend has been. Multi time candle frame uh, testing or uh, back testing is going to be added very soon, right? So all of this can be quickly and done uh, quickly and easily be done in minutes with the entire use of streak itself right so we were at wipro we see that it gave some results which is better than how it performed market so let's go ahead and deploy let's move to the next section of the webinar right so in with streak with few clicks you can take everything live right so i i can choose whether mis or cnc because i have created this algo for mis i'll do that so let me send this and let me deploy it right so I have deployed it. Um, how does it look? So once you get a notification, you will be told here, right? So this is when we were testing earlier in the morning to make sure that everything is fine, right? So now this strategy sits in market. It is constantly checking whether your uh, condition is met. That's why you saw waiting for entry condition there. And uh, this is the algo. You can see the summary is here. Once the condition meets, you will get a notification. And you click on that, the position will be entered then after that the position is tracked for your stop loss and take profit you can see here usd is being tracked right so i have bought one uh, and my stop loss and take profits are this and that's the uh, that's the way both entry and exits are tracked now one very common question which i get when deploying is what is algo cycle so algo cycle is basically when people um, uh, the algo cycle is basically one algo cycle is one entry and one exit right if you have if you see in backtest that your entry and exit rates come multiple times a day you can choose two or three if one al if you deploy with one algo cycle and that algo cycle gets completed the algo goes to stop section right so you don't so you don't want to redeploy this um, here right so uh, you can obviously redeploy here which you see but the whole point of algo cycle is to have to uh, is for ease where you do an entry, you do an exit, algo automatically starts tracking entry again, right? Um, now let's move ahead. Uh, the moral of the story is tread with care when following trend, right? You have to be very careful when following trend. You have to understand when you are doing intraday trend following strategy. Keep in mind what is what the long term, when I say long term, couple of months, couple of weeks, mood of the market has been, right? If you use a bullish strategy, bullish trend following on a bullish long term market bullish short term strategy on a bullish long term market you will be able to get obviously significant results but the whole perspective is or the whole magic of the game is in addition to that creating strategies where you can uh, do shots in a bullish market and get short term gains as well right uh, again be open to exit early if you see a reversal and keep long term trends in mind right so we'll just uh, take a couple of more questions uh, and then uh, we'll we'll go ahead with that so i'm just looking at the question that people have asked uh, you can bring on all the questions not only with trend following anything else that you have in mind right so what is uh, vwma so that uh, it's volume weighted moving average uh, if that's what you're asking and there's uh, there's also vwap which is different than this
which is uh, volume weighted average price and uh, yeah so i don't understand other parts of the question please tell us uh, if you okay so somebody wants to see renko with superton obviously i'll show that to you guys right so let's go here let's create an algo with renko because it has been asked we'll have a separate webinar on renko on and how to use that right but just for the sake a uh, couple of minutes i'll just show renko with this thing so let's say super trend uh, again i'll use assist feature because it gives me ease of creating algos right so i have entry i have exit simple nothing fancy let me go to my sbin here chart now i'll take make it uh i think 15 minutes uh, let's say let's make it five minutes not an issue so again people say that renko you don't have to worry about the candle interval but actually you do right you have to figure out when does the price actually starts to go up or when does the price actually starts to go down because let's say you are looking at a 15 minute candle if price moves up and moves down the renko will not come in will not be formed in a 15 minute bar but if you are using a small thing uh it, it will be um it will be i mean if you are using a smaller candle time frame you can see those bricks being formed right so so while uh once again just let me give so currently the take profit and stop loss are in percentages our team is going to release very soon the update where you can give it in points so it's more helpful to use renko you need to be on ultimate plan and then you can select renko and give the brick size so how to choose brick size many people have asked a very common way to use do that is just refer kites brick size so if i just do auto select here right they will um, they generally show a brick size that they are using they use caveman's algorithm to uh, understand what the brick size is so let me do that i'll answer the questions which are coming once while the backtest is running so uh, renko webinar sample right so let the backtest run let's see if it even gives any good results oh shit i forgot to change that here so i want to do a okay let's see how it runs on buy let's see okay so people uh, some people have asked whether automation uh, is possible or not so automation again is some automation is something which is not allowed by regulation it's not something that we are not providing because we cannot we can easily do that but we are complying with regulations and based on regulations you are not retail traders are not supposed to do auto trading and that's why we are not able to provide it currently right uh, can you choose an entry and exit as an indicator uh, percent and in terms of loss so example is so mayur has asked entry is moving average 10 cross over moving yeah absolutely i, sh I showed this i think um, uh, mayur you came you might have come late so let uh, okay so renko backtest has happened we see that the super trend this is the strategy which we used which is a simple sample strategy right we use brick size of 0.88 super trend cross above close super trend crosses below on a 10 minute candle interval right uh, we can see the transactions here. So this is how Renko can be used with um, Renko can be used with streak. Okay. Now other questions while which people had was uh, so what about slippage that occurs between the time of the notification? So again, the slippage between the notification that you get right is almost as soon as the candle forms. Once you get the notification, you click on it so in let's say there is a one minute gap okay now if your take profit and stop loss are so small right that means there is some issue with the strategy where you are not sort of uh, you are not sort of looking at any actual trend or any actual movement to take a trade in back test if you re re refer our uh, help manual we cover how we uh, account for the slippage um in backtest we account for slippage in uh, in a very small minor fashion where if the signal is generated for 915 candle the price you get is the next candle's open price right now if you take action instantly on that price the chances are you might get closer to the uh, open price but because you are not looking for that single tick or single uh, tick change profit and stop loss like scalpers or hfts right it doesn't make much sense to worry on that level but keep that in mind once you get a notification or once you get a signal you have to act on it you can't wait 
to act for five minutes or 10 minutes to act on it, right? Uh, other questions, please keep them coming. Could you predict gap up or gap down? I mean, prediction of gap up and gap down is a more of a economic process uh, but with technical indicators we in our price action uh, webinar which we have planned right we are going to cover a couple of things where we can see buildups happening and then a gap up then things like that right so uh, shivram kumar has asked can we deploy for a week weekly and daily charts uh, shivram we can deploy for daily charts uh, weekly charts are yet to come right other questions, uh, Hekanashi, somebody is saying uh, two greens and one red. I mean, that also is possible. That comes in price action. You can write to us as support and we'll help you out with that, right? Can uh, can we notify only on trade um, Yeah, again, so I, I think this question was covered. You have to have, a, uh, you have to click on the notification for it to happen. So can you put stop loss as per indicator value such that, so Dinesh is asking this, can you uh, put, stop loss as per indicator value yes absolutely so here when you are writing the exit condition right you can have that the that the indicator value goes below some value then you want to have uh, the stop loss right uh for any issues that people are facing with platform do write to support we try to clear all the questions all the doubts as soon as possible right uh orders are placed as market currently not as limit uh, we will be releasing limit and bo orders very soon our team is hard at work at it because of the month of december there are a lot of holidays in between so it's taking us time to do a, a very thorough quality testing which our team does without that we don't uh, approve and we don't uh, deploy anything right so that's something um, other things people have asked is can you set a condition uh can you superintend changes color again? So, uh, a permanent Madhavan has asked whether you can change, you can create a condition when superintend changes color. This is exactly the same thing. If you write this, okay, in chart, which I've shown here, it basically means the color has changed from red to green, right? This means the color has changed from green to red. Our assist feature on streak helps you with all of that, right? Um, is there a way to scan multiple stocks at once? Use indexes. Again, a scanner basically is a passive filter. So if, uh, Mohit has asked this question, right? Mohit Kohli. So if you use a scanner, you don't know what are the right levels for which that value works. So if you don't know what is the right level and you filter out 50 stocks or 100 stocks at a bunch, then without having to and have not run back this on each one of them, you actually don't know whether the filtered out stocks and the opportunity you're looking for has any value. We are working on a couple of features that will make it easier to backtest a huge bunch of stocks at one shot. But uh, till then, I mean, you can, you can use screeners to identify long-term trends and then identify from pick from those the stocks that you want to do intraday trading with and backtest them before you can use it right so can you update uh so mayur has asked can you update uh, uh uh your app to avoid tp and sl okay so bo once it gets released right that's when it will be automatically covered so tp and sl will be automatically covered and then your entry and exit conditions is what you are specified right Okay, so Mayur again has asked, you don't want to enter target NSL. So now what happens is when you, if you don't have a target NSL is, the system doesn't know what is your border condition. Like if, if let's say market becomes flat, if something happens, this is not meeting, what's the point where you will exit, right? So that is unknown. That's why stop loss and take profit in every algo system is mandatory. Now, let's say you don't want that values to get hit, right? So if, if you give a very high value for stop loss or take profit, it's like it never existed and you always exited based on your exit condition, right? So uh, An Anirban has asked derivative orders normal uh, or not MIS can be placed through. absolutely if you are deploying I will just show you how it looks so if you are deploying here you can select overnight that is CNC and RML the algo will be live for 30 days it will keep track of your market for 30 days PSA with our candles for uh, decently uh, liquid stocks uh, especially futures right um, 
have been used for lots of periods, lots of months continuously by many clients and gives actually decent performance. Um, so one more question, Guru Prashant has asked any additional indicators will be introduced like, yes, absolutely. Guru Prashant, yesterday we uh, uh, released a Ko um, Kopokov curve, all the indicators which are there are a lot of indicators which people have asked us for quite some time and they are in queue. We are working on indicators as we speak and we keep releasing them very frequently. Right. Anant has asked Anant has asked uh, how to code volume based multi time frame. Uh, can we do multi time frame again? Anant, I told earlier multi time frame is coming. You also can do volume based uh, strategies where you can understand whether the volume is in the direction or not. So that was covered in the previous webinar where we used volume with super trend and ADX to make a huge impact in terms of the returns we got. Right. So uh, uh, Shibhu Nair asked, when will we start multi time frame? It is under works. We'll release it as soon as possible, right? We are working on it. So that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, do write to us on support at streak.tech. Uh, it has been great having you guys here. Thank you and happy trading. Bye bye.